Earlier this year, The Economist reported that America's homeless population had risen by a rate of 6% nationwide. In cities such as San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Seattle, that rate is much higher. In fact, according to some estimates, half of America's unsheltered homeless population live in California. It's emotionally jarring. How is it possible that more than a half million Americans are sleeping on the streets, in tents, and in emergency shelters? Governments have mobilized billions of dollars to solve homelessness, but there are more tents on the streets than ever. Clearly, policy is a major factor contributing to the problem. Over the last few years, many major cities have leaned exclusively on a housing first model. This model makes getting homeless populations off the streets and into housing priority number one, even if it costs billions. The issue of homelessness in the United States is a complex and multifaceted problem that cannot be easily solved for several reasons. Here are some key factors contributing to the challenge. 1. Policy and political challenges. Solving the homeless crisis requires coordinated efforts and effective policies at the local, state, and federal levels. However, differing priorities, limited funding, and political challenges can hinder the implementation of comprehensive solutions. One of the biggest wrong policy is the absence of comprehensive support programs. Homelessness is a complex issue that requires a multifaceted approach. Merely providing shelter is not enough. We need comprehensive support programs that address underlying factors such as unemployment, substance abuse, and lack of education. By offering a range of services, we can help individuals break free from the cycle of homelessness. Addressing the homeless crisis requires the collective effort of government agencies, nonprofit organizations, and communities. Effective policies and programs can only be developed when all parties work together and share resources and expertise. We've observed is the criminalization of homelessness. Instead of addressing the root causes, some policies focus on punishing homeless individuals for their circumstances. This approach is counterproductive and only exacerbates the problem. We need compassionate and supportive measures that prioritize housing and assistance over punitive actions. 2. Lack of affordable housing. The scarcity of affordable housing options is a significant obstacle in addressing homelessness. Rising housing costs, limited availability, and inadequate social housing programs contribute to the difficulty in finding stable housing for those experiencing homelessness. Be honest. When you think about a homeless person, what do you imagine? someone who sleeps in the streets and is smelly a drug addict that spends every dollar they come by on more drugs an unemployed person who's lazy and dangerous after working in a homeless resource center for the past year i can tell you that these preconceptions are mostly untrue the people i meet through my job are compassionate and responsible people who shouldn't be judged because of their living situations people don't know just how hard it is to obtain housing even if you work With California's current housing costs and inflation, even if you work 40 hours a week at minimum wage, you still can't make enough to get housed. A minimum wage worker earns $29,120 annually, while the median yearly rent cost would amount to $37,884, leaving no money to care for other needs. In a high housing cost area like we live in, it doesn't take a lot to push people into homelessness. In just four years, 129 homeless individuals have died on the streets of Santa Barbara County. Their average age of death was just 58 years old, compared with 76 years in the housed population. This means that being homeless in Santa Barbara decreases life expectancy by almost 20 years. As residents of Southern California, we have witnessed the increase in homelessness throughout our community. 3. Income Inequality The growing wealth gap in the U.S. exacerbates the issue of homelessness. Low wages, lack of job opportunities, and inadequate social safety nets make it difficult for many individuals and families to afford housing and meet their basic needs. Income inequality drives hundreds of people into homelessness on any given night in dozens of communities across the U.S., finds new research in the annals of the American Academy of Political and Social Science. A community of 740,000 people where income disparities have risen sharply over the past decade can expect over 550 additional people to experience homelessness on a given night, the researchers report in their paper. The findings may not surprise residents of expensive cities like New York, where, according to federal data, 
13% of the nation's homeless population lives. West Coast cities with high housing costs, like Los Angeles, San Francisco and Seattle, also have well-documented homelessness crises. Ultimately, income inequality is pricing lower-income households out of housing markets, says lead author Thomas Byrne, an assistant professor at Boston University who studies housing. Income inequality refers to the earnings gap separating those who earn the most money and those who earn least. Income is separate from wealth, which is accrued through stock market investments, real estate and other avenues apart from wages earned for work and other taxable income. 4. Mental health and substance abuse. Homelessness is often intertwined with mental health issues and substance abuse problems. The lack of accessible and affordable mental health services and addiction treatment programs contributes to the cycle of homelessness for many individuals. 5. Systemic issues. Homelessness is also influenced by systemic factors such as racial disparities, systemic poverty, and discrimination. These factors disproportionately impact marginalized communities, making it harder for them to escape homelessness. 6. Insufficient support services. While there are programs and services aimed at assisting individuals experiencing homelessness, there is often a lack of adequate resources, including shelters, healthcare, job training, and social support networks, to effectively address the needs of the homeless population. It is important to recognize that solving the homeless crisis requires a multifaceted approach involving affordable housing initiatives, healthcare and mental health services, employment opportunities, and social support networks. It requires collective efforts from government, communities, and individuals to address the underlying causes and provide sustainable solutions to help individuals and families experiencing homelessness. For decades, California has had one of the country's largest populations of homeless people. In recent years, the challenges have severely worsened for the Golden State. The homelessness counts in California rose by 42% between 2014 and 2020, while the rest of the country had a 9% decrease. On any given night, the state has more than 160,000 homeless persons. About 70% of California's homeless live outside a shelter system, sleeping in tents, public open spaces, or vehicles. That's a stark contrast with New York, where only 5% of the homeless population are unsheltered. Another challenge lies in the interactions between mental illness, drug addiction. In 2020, about 25% of all homeless adults in Los Angeles County had severe mental illnesses such as a psychotic disorder and schizophrenia and 27% had a long-term substance use disorder. Moreover, a higher percentage of so-called chronically homeless have drug addiction, a severe mental illness, or both. 